Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Kamerja Popoelas, Ketile Ost Kwanimo Pretane Bachem Sarse. Imedia Kargathart, I hope you're good. And today I am very excited. I feel I'm very excited because I'm going to talk about Georgian food. And while I was searching for like, okay, what are my favorites? And I was making like a full presentation. It made me so excited and so hungry so i hope you're not very hungry but if you are and you live in georgia my advice is to have something with you because i'm going to show you some nice stuff okay so uh, i come from western georgia and in western georgia we have kind of like specific cuisine and also the thing is that i do not love meat so you're not going to see any meat here so if you're vegetarian or if you don't like meat maybe you will like this video and food that are with meat and i used to eat my my previous life i'm going to share maybe later maybe i will not i still don't know and also before i show you some food uh, there is something interesting that i would like to share with you in georgia we have the tradition of fasting okay uh, fasting mostly happens during Christmas time, before Christmas, before Easter, and we have this kind of important religious days like St. Peter and Paul's Day or, or like um, like we have it like three, four times per year. And for each time, maybe Georgians are fasting for like two, three weeks. And what happens during um, this time is that you have to eat only plant-based food like you made pasta you made rice um but it shouldn't contain like eggs it shouldn't contain anything made with milk it shouldn't contain any meat so when i was a child not like a child but like a teenager for a long time i was fasting and sometimes i was just fasting during wednesdays and fridays it also happens that twice per week you're fasting so during this time i would not eat anything that was containing any um, meat milk cheese so it made me um, a bit specific with food um, I sometimes wasn't eating meat for a long time and in the end I don't like meat at all and now I'm not fasting anymore this is the same thing that maybe you know about Ramadan that for Muslim people they have a tradition of not eating some things or not eating during some time the same thing was happening in Georgia and plus if there was like a someone dying maybe for the next 40 days you were fasting and sometimes once not sometimes once i lost my two grandmas very close to each other so for a long time i was fasting and it made me um i would say that i'm a person who has like a very strong will that if i say that i will do something i will do it and if i say that i will not do something i don't do it and most of all it happens because i kind of can control my desires if i can say like that and so today you will see Georgian food that are mostly coming from Western Georgia and we have a lot of plant-based food because as you see fasting is our tradition and we have to have alternatives but this food contains a lot of um, cheese because I love cheese a lot it just has no meat okay first food that I'm going to show you is ajab sandali Ajab sandali is a mix of stuff and also when there is a mess we say that it's ajab sandali, okay? Um, maybe it's like a work, your work is ajab sandali or the situation can be ajab sandali and it's like an alternative of ratatouille that is in France it's like a cold dish made with eggplant, tomatoes, a lot of um, spices, herbs, garlic of course sometimes it's also served like a hot dish, it doesn't have to be like a cold dish and i think it's very nice and it's very rich and the next one is lobio lobio is one of my favorite it's uh beans sometimes made in clay pot lobio is a very popular dish and it's made with like kidney shaped beans it exists in different variations you can find in different ways it's made with coriander garlic spices onions we use a lot of spices not like indians but still and um, sometimes it's cold, sometimes it's hot. Me, I prefer when it's hot and mostly we eat with a cornbread that I'm going to show you later. And next one is, of course, the cornbread, which is very tasty. It's like a, an alternative of bread 
because in old times we didn't have like bread okay it was like it wasn't that you could find bread at home and mostly people were eating cornbreads especially in western georgia in my village we have some plots and my father was always growing corn so then we always had corn flour we always had cornbread and whatever we wanted these are very small or it can be also like larger crispy cornbreads made with corn flour it can be made with milk with water and also of course salt and sometimes you can also put inside some cheese mostly sulguni sulguni is in western georgia in samigrelo and then it becomes chvistari in the second picture you see that when you open then you see some cheese because there is inside i like it a lot but you don't have to eat it just like that you can but someone once told me i don't like cornbread for me it was very dry the thing is that you don't eat it just like that you eat it maybe with cheese you eat it with some uh, plants and you eat it with beans very nice i like it a lot and then you're going to see one of my favorite sauce in the world which is tremali tremali is made from plum it can be green it can be red and we can eat it with everything like we can have it with potatoes as you see in the picture when the, when the season comes and potatoes are really small and fresh we just fry them with the skin with some herbs as you see in the picture and we eat it with emali it's super nice all the kids love it i think we also can eat it with fish with um eggs or maybe not in the morning because still it's like a bit um, not very good for your stomach in the morning even if i do that sometimes and you can eat it with chicken with anything and my favorite is just to have just normal bread, Jordan bread, I mean, Emily, and I can eat it as much as I want till I have the pain in my stomach. Now I don't live in Georgia, I live in Italy, so of course I don't have all these herbs. Sometimes I like to make this kind of food, but if you don't have Jordan bread, Georgian herbs, it's a bit difficult to make it. And the next food is pchali. Pchali it's what we call it but actually it's supposed to be mkhali okay it's grounded vegetable usually it's eggplant or spinach or red pepper or beetroot i love it a lot because if you're on diet or if you like vegetables as i love or if it's your fasting or if you're a vegetarian this is something that you can eat as much as you want of course if it has a lot of walnut inside maybe then it's not a good idea if you're allergic it has, it has also garlic, but it's your personal preference, I believe. We eat it with pomegranates. And it's very nice, if you ask me. One of my favorites between this pchali is padrijani nixit, or as I call it, nixiani padrijani. It's eggplants with walnut. You see that inside, you see this white thing. It's very delicious, made with a lot of herbs, spices, garlic, and uh, of course, walnuts. We decorated it with pomegranate mostly and uh, this is something that I can just eat as much as I want and it, it's not that it makes you feel heavy, it's still very fresh and I love it. You may all know that as I'm Georgian, I may tend to love khajapuri a lot and for me maybe there is not something better, but actually a lot of Georgians prefer lobiani. Lobian is the same as hajapuri, but inside we have some beans. We prepare these beans, we are boiling them with some salt, with some onion, and it's like you're uh, smashing it. And then you're putting, like you would put cheese inside hajapuri, and it's very nice. Also, we have um, a holiday, which is St. Barbara's Day, Barbaroba. And during Barbaroba, we have a tradition to prepare lobiani. Sometimes it also has a little little coin inside because Lobiani has the shape of the sun, right? And when there is Barbaroba, also in like, you know, Georgians were like, Georgians were not always Christians, okay? We were not always like this before we used to believe in like mysterious stuff. And there was something that was called Barbale. I'm trying to search for information. So Barbale in old Georgian mythology was a goddess of the sun okay and she was like a symbol of 
fertility, she was a symbol of many things. So we are celebrating this day when there is Barbaroba, St. Barbara's Day. It's weird that we have a Christian and uh, not Christian holiday at the same time. And by mistake, some people, instead of saying Barbaroba, say Barbaroba. You may think that, okay, it's not correct. Why do they say that? They actually think that they are saying Barbaroba. The thing is that if you're celebrating this Barbale day, then it's Barbaroba. But if you're celebrating St. Barbara's Day, then it's Barbaroba. Uh, just we Georgians don't know it either. And that's why we have this Lobiani, because it has the shape of the sun inside with coins. And the one who is eating the one with coins, of course, you have to wash and you have to be careful. It's like lucky one. Okay. The next one is, of course, Khadjapuri. And as I'm from Western Georgia, I prefer like just Megruli, I'm sorry, Imeruli Khadjapuri. <laughs> I don't know why I said Megruli. Uh, Imeruli Khadjapuri, because I'm from Imerati. It's just normal Khajapuri, it's like classical one, but of course I love uh, Ajaruli Khajapuri, Megruli Khajapuri. We also sometimes make it with inside potatoes, and it's like a classic. Now let's move to sweets, because I love sweets a lot. Furchela is of course number one. It's made of nuts, it can be walnuts, it can be whatever you want, sometimes just dry fruits inside. And it's dipped in a mix of grape juice, flour, and it can be also with honey. It has a little string inside, but you don't feel the taste of it. And it's super delicious. Sometimes it's called like Georgian uh, Snickers, because if you have it, it will last for a long time, okay? First of all, you have to prepare it. You have to wait for a long time to dry. My grandma was always making this. My family was also making it. And you have to keep it okay so it gets dry and the thing is that in old times when the army when soldiers were going somewhere it's not that they had like meals and lunch breaks right so maybe they had just churchala because it lasts for a long time and it's it has a lot of calories right like sugar walnuts or nuts and grape and if you're going for hiking maybe i would recommend you to take this it will give you some energy and the next one is pelamushi. Pelamushi is like a grape pudding, a dessert made with concentrated grape juice. It has corn flour inside, of course, and it's served with walnuts. It can be white color, it can be like kind of red color. Um, it's not very heavy, you can eat it. It's not also very sweet, even if it can be sweet, it gives you some kind of like... Um, it kind of like cleans your stomach, if you ask me. The next one is gozinari, which is not always possible to eat if you don't have very strong teeth, okay? Kids can eat that, but if you go to Georgian grandmas and grandpas, they're not able to eat gozinari. And also we have, we say that we don't have teeth to eat gozinari. It means that your teeth are very thin, okay? It's a traditional Georgian sweet made with caramelized nuts, walnuts, fried in honey. You have to give it the shape. It's not an easy thing. And um, mostly we eat it when it's New Year. Okay? That's all about my favorite Georgian dishes without meat, just vegetarian, but not vegan. Um, and I hope it was interesting for you. I hope you also like to eat Georgian food. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye!